ओके ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक to the mood of the nation survey what would happen if elections were held today we've given you all the big numbers where the bjp is holding its own compared to august 2015 but is down compared to may of 2014 and the congress and the upa is staging a minor revival at the moment let's turn to one more specific issue narendra modi's handling of the pathan court issue how has the nation seen it satisfactory 62% unsatisfactory 17% can't say is 21% should india talk to pakistan despite the pathan court attack no say 46% yes say 39 can't say 15% so much more divided we also asked a question on make in india is it successful 47% said yes failure is 21 can't say is 32 so there are people who are still not willing to judge make in india at this moment but pathan court is the issue at the moment which is taking center stage manish tiwari you can now jump in because you wanted to speak on that but the public out there is still giving mr modi a thumbs up for the handling of pathan court but doesn't seem very clear on talking to pakistan in fact almost 50% are saying don't talk to pakistan well rajdeep uh, in so far as terrorism is concerned mm -hmm. and especially terrorism sponsored from across the border from pakistan mm -hmm. we have been now confronting that for over four decades you know it goes back to 1980 with kashmir uh, with punjab moves on to kashmir then goes on to the rest of the country so therefore uh, there is a certain sense in the people that look this is a problem you know which is emanating from across the border and therefore there should be a unanimity there should be a closure of ranks when it comes to uh, confronting this menace and i guess that is why the 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 number reflects right. uh, the 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 satisfaction because if you start dissecting the pathan court incident which all of you have done you know almost to death you know it's very clear that the government mishandled it or right. was completely ham handed and was caught uh, totally on the back foot in so far as patan court is concerned in so far as talking to pakistan is concerned again the reason why you see the divide is because the people of india have no problem with the people of pakistan in fact the people of india and the people of pakistan want to reach out to each other but there is also a recognition that there is a deep state which does not want peace and therefore any overture right. which the prime minister of india and successive prime ministers of india have made has always been met with a with a terrorist But, response okay, so that's me, why you know in let fact let if you uh, sort of pedal back these numbers right. you would find almost the same numbers reflecting in uh, koe pakistan no it in fact you'd probably find the same numbers when the upa was in power i'm just wondering this pakistan question do you really believe that it is a you know it's again a media narrative which may not be playing on the ground this is one issue where maybe the prime minister can be a step ahead of civil society go and take this is where he could take a big risk possibly do you believe that these numbers should encourage him maybe to take a risk people are seeing your handling of pathan court attack fine it's not as if 80% are saying don't talk to pakistan it's 46% so you could take a chance and move ahead of civil society Rajib, sorry absolutely yes uh, this this 46% would easily turn into 26 if That's he right. decides to speak these are very soft figures indian trust their leaders when it comes to foreign policy they don't bind their hand and they have lot more maneuvering possibilities yes yes raj no i certainly think uh, the num the the uh, finding should come as a relief to mr modi all the criticism about, about him handling patan court the public thinks he did it well yes and actually if you look back uh, uh, barring the initial confusion yes. they did put down uh, got the guys down there was uh, no, not major damage maybe you know the entire thing was resting to about five people killed in the initial burst so overall the government gets a pat on that uh, as regards talking to pakistan certainly he should i've always maintained that that he must keep this dialogue this is encouraging for and him. take a risk in a sense absolutely and absolutely. take a risk it's a but risk keep your, worth taking yes but as you talk to pakistan always keep your other options open always remember that that you do need to beef up your internal defense as well as your other options okay i'm going to just look at that make in india figure for a moment because that is interesting and maybe pavan varma and nalin kohli i want to get you in because you represent two different spectrum presumably on make in india pavan varma on make in india 
Do you believe that this could make Mr. Modi or break Mr. Modi? You said three times on this program that this government is a crony capitalist government. Now, even as we speak, Make in India is still going on in Mumbai. The Maharashtra government claims thousands of MOUs are being signed. Do you believe that Mr. Modi can, what you believe is crony capitalism, is according to Mr. Modi, a sign of opportunity, of aspiration, whether it's Make in India or Startup India? No, Rajdeep, I just want to say yes. that the growth of the corporate sector is something we respect and appreciate. All I'm saying is that it is not happening as per the expectations or the promises Mr. Modi gave. If you are looking at the ease of doing business index, mm -hmm. ask the broad spectrum of the top industrialists and businessmen and they will say that a lot has been promised but not enough has been done on the ground. But there are a handful of entrepreneurs and businessmen and industrialists close to the government mm -hmm. who have benefited disproportionately and that's the classic definition of crony capitalism. You cannot change the economy by slogans. There has to be meticulous work on the ground for a Make in India campaign to catch on. Very often this government, mm -hmm. and I say this probably true of most governments, but this government in particular promises much more than it actually delivers on the ground. And the cumulative, the cumulative uh, failure of delivery will tell in a few months. I can guarantee no, you that. That's, you know, that's two, there are two views on that. One is that... Look the, at the manufacturing no, no, one, one view, Industrial production no, no, has no. contracted. Sir, sir, just Agriculture a is growing at 2%. So, so one have you fallen for 14 months in a row. The rupee is about to touch 70. So some of it is some of it. Just as Mr. Modi has benefited from global factors when it comes to oil prices, he's also suffered because of global factors when it comes to declining exports. Let's be fair. My point to you, Dalin Kohli, is this: Is Make in India also a bit of a gamble? But the benefit has no, not no, been passed minute. on to the one consumer. Minute, sir. So one minute, is Nalin Kohli is Make in India also a bit of a gamble? When you do these big ticket schemes, <clears throat> Make in India, Startup India, great slogans, but out there you need delivery. And is part of the problem for Mr. Modi that delivery is going to take time. And you have five years, you have actually now three. Some would say two and a half because you'll then be into election mode. Do you believe that that is the big risk that he has taken with these big ticket campaigns which he has personally identified himself with? I have three comments to make. I'll start with your question on Make in India, then two comments on what Mr. Tiwari said in the preceding segment. No, no, focus on First Make in India. First of all, is Make in India is an aspirational slogan. Yes. I'm coming here because those are also intricately linked. I'm not going to go off the topic. Make in India is an aspirational slogan. Obviously, the factories would be set up in states. But Make in India is not just a slogan that hangs there alone. Along with that, there are other things which is part of Skill India, which is obviously educational, labor. There's uh, also the other aspect of Make in India and the me small, medium, marginal sector, which would then link itself to Mudra, where about a lakh crore of, uh, you know, small time requirements from, you know, as low as 5,000 to 10 lakhs for young people or people who are entrepreneurs by themselves is there. Because actually, the maximum amount of entrepreneurship is within uh, the small and unorganized yes. sector. So I think we need to see it in totality. What we tend to do is only look at the big ticket ones. They are important. They are needed. They also draw interest. And then the figures of whether it is foreign direct investment, whether it's in terms of what we are seeing globally in terms of the interest in India, they all match up. So, so I don't see how it so the is, worry is seen as a failure. So the but of worry is the building our, uh, blocks. Political sir, opponents sir, are bound minute, to see it. So the worry, Mr. Kohli, is the building blocks are being put in place, maybe like the Mudra Bank. Maybe the idea of Startup India will eventually take off. It could take three, five years, but time at the moment may not for once be with the Prime Minister. You are 20 months into the government. You've got at best another two and a half years to get all this done. So the question is, has Mr. Yes. Modi, Mr. Gambled, has Mr. Modi gambled point. on the long term and in a sense compromised on the short term? And that's what the survey at some level is also showing. Right. I wouldn't agree. There is a long-term aspect and you must have a long-term vision for the country. And this is linked to my second comment actually, your question has led to it, thank you very much. Which is about the idea that you know we hear from the Congress all the time saying that this was a concept of ours, 
but not impl uh, you know that you have just simply picked up what we started so i'll give the example of what has not been done for 40 years and was done in the last one year or one and a half years pradhan mantri jandhan yojana it was conceptualized by the late shrimati indira gandhi around the time i was born probably it was never implemented we now have some what 20 crore accounts they are operational some 30000 crores in them which were many of them were zero balance sir, accounts sir please give ups so some credit there for financial done. inclusion we tend to so therefore many coming. of these schemes are therefore, ups schemes therefore which therefore have coming. been repackaged so, by the prime yes, minister yes mr rajdeep sir the side that's the point yes yes that's the point you can have a concept like the congress may in its mind yes. the key is implement it and make in india's also yes besides the congress can say we started industrialization in india they are not wrong because it started at Jawaharlal yes. Nehru's time. But the question is who implements? Okay, and I when I'm giving you the example of Pradhan Mantri Sir, Jandan Yojana, 1 lakh crores in Mudra Bank, Sir, I'm, I'm you know, coming to the in uh, LPG, Sir, I'm coming to the they end. show you an implementation aspect. Okay, I'm coming to the end. I want to get final comments and I want to put one last graphic. Has the Narendra Modi government brought in Achedin, which was of course the slogan that defined the 2014 campaign. 40% say yes. Condition remains the same, say 22%, no, say 31%. So if you add 22 and 31, 53% are still saying Achedin have not come. So it's not a great sign at the moment. I'm sure these numbers would have been in the first few months of euphoria, 60, 70%. That's where the come down is slightly coming. Given this overall picture, I'm going to go right round the table and ask people if they look at this survey, should Mr. Modi feel a sense of satisfaction or do you believe the Congress today after seeing this survey, Javed will feel better? Who's going to feel better on day one of our survey? There's another one coming up tomorrow. When, when my magazine reaches the doors, reaches the hands of the, of the political managers of the Bharti Janta Party, they will have a lot more reason to be worried when they see the, the bump. No, that's because when they see this photograph, when they see the magazine no, Rajin, photograph being resurgent Rahul. I got the least chance to speak, so please yes. allow me. Yes. When they see the numbers of Rahul Gandhi, it's, it, I don't want to reveal because tomorrow I'd leave yes. something for you. When they see those numbers, they will have a lot more to worry. Okay, tomorrow and what we're I anticipate is that uh, henceforth Ra they will cut, they will try and target Rahul Gandhi. The more they do, the more those numbers will bump up. Okay, so that's I have now 15 seconds to each of you. Raj, your who's going to feel a greater sense of satisfaction on day one of the mood of the nation poll? Congress, and I think uh, there is a lot of messages for Mr. Modi. What's the biggest one? I think he would have to move quickly now. He needs Th to move much faster. Okay, and Manish be bold, Tiwari. As we talked about. Be bold. Manish Tiwari, what's, good, what's the biggest takeaway for you? 15 seconds, please, gentlemen, all of you. Rajdeep, yes. on the first anniversary of this government, yes. I had written a piece in, and entitled it Koi Lota De Mere Bite Hue Din. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, the trajectory of your survey clearly shows. People are nay, nay, reaching nay, nay, nay. Uh, Manish, Manish uh, Tiwari, a point saying or a threshold mere of their hue patience din. with this government <laughs> nay, and, 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 and the crunch time is going to come very soon. No, I think they are saying, Kya Hua Tera Vada. That's the word. What, what they are saying is, Kya Hua Tera Vada, Wo Kasam Wo Irada. But go ahead, uh, 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 Pavan Verma, 15 seconds to you. Uh, well, ko Koi Lota De Mere Bite Hue Achha, Din, they will chalo, come to uh, that also soon. Pavan Verma, 15 seconds. Very quickly. Yes. 15 seconds. V very quickly, <laughs> Rajdeep. Yes. Very quickly. I think the gloss and sheen, the gloss and sheen mm -hmm. of Mr. Naren Modi's image and that of this government is wearing off. Okay. People are perceiving a yawning gap between promise okay. and delivery. Sir. They are still not coming out very emphatically against this government because of the Tina factor. But that factor will be negated. And I think the downstream. The downhill trajectory of this government has begun. Okay, that's your view. What's the song you want to give Nalin Kohli? Koi uh, uh, lota de mere bite hue din is what Manish Tiwari is ending. I, what, do you have a song? I Are you a Hindi uh, film buff like me? I actually didn't uh, think about whether I could come up with a line. Okay, I quickly. wish I'd known you'd like me to come up, but I'd certainly say one thing. Uh -huh. As long as Mr. Um, uh, Tiwari's party continues yes. to constantly find fault with even the numbers that are in our favour, I can assure you, BJP is achhe din going to continue. Okay, we work for the people. Achhe achhe din achhe din achhe din achhe din rahenge, achhe din rahenge. Final word, Yogendra ji, 15 seconds. Your biggest takeaway. Uh, both of them have reasons to be concerned. And you also a Hindi film buff. <laughs> no, no, I can't go and come up with lines yes. like you. Uh, both of them have reasons to be concerned. BJP because some of the.
key electoral promises are simply not working with the people. Uh, it is one of the most anti-farmer government that we have seen. That's my judgment, not the voters' not, not judgment the service, at the moment. Uh, the reason why Congress should be concerned is, given all this, why are its numbers not jumping up? Okay, so we're we have seen. Are we also witnessing one of the most inept opposition? That's my question. Okay, so whether, is this an inept opposition which reflects these numbers, or is this simply a government which is being asked? The song of the day, Kya Hua Tera Vada. Well, we're going to leave it there. Tomorrow, day two of the Mood of the Nation poll. Where do the leaders stand? Rahul versus Modi in a direct face-off. That's coming up tomorrow on the Mood of the Nation poll. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Good night. Starting today, we are beginning our special coverage on the union budget. We are calling it Make or Break Budget 2016 because for the government and for the country, this is indeed a make or break budget. Our first...